stop right when you crack it open. So I finally upgraded my computer guys and I couldn't be more excited. My old one was a MacBook Pro six years ago. We'll be going to take a look at the new M1 MacBook Air, what it looks like, what's in the box, first impressions, and stick around to the end to see a quick comparison and speed test with my old MacBook Pro. I don't know if this is like the UPS box or what, but even the like delivery box got that Apple type feel to it, you know? Very Apple-y. Oh man, boys! This is the most Apple you can get. Mm -hmm. And another pull tab. Look at that. Wow. The unboxing experience. Some good stuff already. Man, it's like the thinnest computer ever and kind of like a juicy box, you know? So it's got some girth to it. Let's check out what's inside. What do we got on the back? MacBook Air 13 inch. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. You already know you open something with that, that it's hot. All right, here we go. What's in here? I always use this method right here. The slide off method. Okay, what's in the box? Wow. It's crazy. I've not gotten, like, I haven't touched a com new computer in so long. Here we are. So I got it in space gray. I think that's like the coolest color. I want everything space gray if I can get it in space gray. So thin. I know it's the same design as the older MacBook Airs, but I've never had a MacBook Air, period. I, I've, I haven't had a new computer in the longest time ever. So, man. First thing is, it smells delightful. Feels delightful, nice and cold. Mm. And it's like so thin. You could bring this thing around with you anywhere. It's like a notebook light okay before we open it up let's just see what else we got in the box okay so we got a USB-C to USB-C cord so that's really nice I have a bunch of USB-C cords but this is good that it's a long one I kind of appreciate that and oh look at that you get a charging brick which you know it's not guaranteed anymore if you get a charging brick with your Apple products but thank you thank you Apple not that it should be expected, which it should be, but you don't know anymore. So what do we got here? A 30 watt power brick. I just got a 20 watt power brick for my iPhone so it can fast charge at full speed. This comes with a 30 watt power brick and I just looked it up, the MacBook Pro comes with a 61 watt power adapter, which is cool too. I'm happy with 30. I, I heard this thing just like sips battery life. It'll last forever, so. I'm cool with it. Thank you. Thank you for including the brick. So very simplistic. You know, you get the MacBook Air, you get the charging cord, and you get the power adapter. And let's see, what do we get in here? A little piece of bullcrap that no one reads, and two Apple stickers. What's up? And wow, these are not even white. They're space gray. That's pretty cool. Or am I going to put them on my car so everyone knows that I love Apple? Maybe. There is nothing else in the box, which is like why I was wondering why this box is so thick. So look at the depth of this and the, the width of the box. I don't know if it's because this little cube took up so much. I was wondering why the box was ginormous. There's, no, there's, a little, there's nothing in here. It's fluff. Fluff. They played us. And the first thing I'm going to do before I even crack this bad boy open, you already know it should be the first thing you do for anything is screen protector. No matter how good Apple says their screen is and their strength of their screen is, glass is not going to be scratch proof. So just do it. First thing, get a screen protector. They're so cheap. Don't get a $50 screen protector. You can get like one for five bucks on Amazon, whatever you're looking for, get it. I've never used it on a laptop actually, but I know that my old MacBook had scratches and it got to a point where I kind of saw it on the screen and it was kind of pissing me off so something you stare at for hours every day you don't want to have an annoying scratch and it might be small but it's something that you notice and those little annoyances will add up over time to give you an overall bad experience so put the screen protector on this is what I got it's from Amazon and it was just a full kind of setup it's the under gate the top gate a screen protector and a keyboard cover so it was like it was the full thing and i'm telling you guys it was cheap 
I'm gonna link it. I, I forget how much it cost. I'll just put the screen protector on. Let's open this beautiful device up. Oh. Stop. Right when you crack it open. Ooh. Right away, it wants to know my language. Oh my god. Yo, Apple, like their user experience, top notch. To use English as the main language, press the return key. All right, yo. Hold up. I just. We gotta slow your roll. This thing's ready to rock already. Okay. This looks sick. It started talking to me right when I opened it up. Boot it up. I don't even see a power button on here. Is the Touch ID power button? I don't see a power button. Mm -mm. Dutch. I'm gonna pick English. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Say no more. Select your region, United States. You already know what's up. Oh, baby. You know we're going dark mode. You know what, let's just keep it light mode for now. Let's see how it looks just starting off. Okay, continue. Select your Wi-Fi. Migration Assistant. If you have information on another Mac or Windows PC, you can transfer it to the Mac. You can also transfer information from a Time Machine backup. I have that. I've never done anything with it, but I have used Time Machine to backup my old MacBook on the Samsung T5 one terabyte SSD. But I've never actually had to use this for anything, but I I do have this. I don't think I want to restore it from an older MacBook. I, I kind of want to set it up as a new computer anyway. All right, sign into your Apple ID. Okay, I just had to uh, verify that code on my phone. <sighs> okay, I'm signing in. And you know what? I'm going to put the um, keyboard protector on. Why not? What a cool little cutout. It gives me a little spot here. Or the touch ID. Well, I really like this. iCloud's just kind of signing in and loading up. Oh, find my, of course, weekly reports. Oh, yeah. Enable Siri, yes. Hey, Siri. And my home pods are like lighting up right now, freaking out. It's like they know, though. They know it's just a test run. Hey, Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? <laughs> okay, Siri's ready. Use the fingerprint. Okay, I think I'm just going to use my pointer finger, right? This is weird to put your... Th yeah, it's kind of weird to put your thumb on it, right? Let's go pointer finger. Okay, so cool. Apple Pay, yes, sir. Like, I'm all set up already in here. Look at how quick this opens up. Look. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's up. Look at how quick it is. Oh, my God. It's like instant. Here's all my notes, man. How cool is that? Look at loading right in. Oh, man. And that's like the best part of just having certain things on iCloud. And then it's just like, look how quick this opens up. It's instantly up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and guess what? I get a year of Apple TV with the purchase of this new MacBook. So that's dope, too. So it's like you almost take for granted the normal speed to open things up like this is crazy. It's like I hate that I'm going to get used to the speed of this. So let me just op just open a bunch of shit up. Oh, my God. Just open up every application on the dock. Every one. And it just flew open. Everything flew open. Oh my god. So looking at these two really quick. This is my old early 2015 MacBook Pro. If you're doing any normal tasks, like this can do it. Like if you're doing office work, Excel, you're just pulling up any normal thing, email, surfing the web, content consumption, you're watching YouTube. Even an old MacBook is going to do that for you, and it started to let me down. If you're trying to edit 4K, it's not going to happen. Look, I was doing all of this stuff on my iPad Pro. I'm doing all my video editing just right on here. 
But what I wanted was Final Cut Pro. This is gonna change that completely and I cannot wait to show you guys what I can come up with when I'm not using just an iPad. But going back to my old MacBook, we're gonna take a look at the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air, just side by side here. If I go and open these two together, check this out. All right. Watch this, watch the latency in the one. This is my old MacBook Pro. <laughs> so let's go max brightness. I think this one got has 400 nits, 300 nits of brightness. Let's see how much the MacBook Air has. I think it has 400, 500. Here, obviously you can see that the Air looks quite brighter. Let's just open up Safari real quick, watch this. One, two. Oh my God. And you know what's crazy is my MacBook Pro, you know, I was so excited to use Sidecar on the MacBook Pro, which is something that, you know, a lot of people don't know about, or I haven't seen people use. Sidecar is a function of the iPad Pro where you can use it as a dual monitor, a dual screen here. If you're signing in on the same device here, Wow, so look at that. Now I got two screens right here. Oh my God, you see how easy that was, guys? I, I never even did this before. Oh my God, that's dope. So now I got a dual monitor set up with my MacBook Air and my iPad Pro. This is crazy. So this is a function that my other MacBook Pro was just too old to do. If you stuck around to the end, please throw your boy a like. Super excited for everyone that watches my video comments. I do appreciate it and it's really awesome for a small channel to get any genuine views. I hope I can offer some value to you guys. Appreciate it. Stick around for next week. I have a new, new, oh, I don't want to ruin it. I got a new accessory for the iPhone 12 coming and I got some new videos on the way. Later, boys.